Hi guys, I'm Marika Day, dietitian and nutritionist, and we are here in the Cobram Estate Kitchen cooking up a delicious winter warming apple and blueberry crumble using the Cobram Estate extra virgin olive oil. So let me walk you through it. Maybe you can try something new today. The ingredients that we are using are Granny Smith apples, rolled oats, almond meal, linseed or flaxseed meal, blueberries, some maple syrup for sweetness, cinnamon for a bit of flavour, extra virgin olive oil of course, and then a little bit of corn flour to get that nice thickness to it as well. First up, we're going to cut up the apples into nice thin slices. The trick to cutting these up is to get them nice and thin so that they cook quicker in the oven and you can eat your crumble faster. So the reason that we typically use Granny Smith or green apples in crumbles and apple pies is because they have a nice firm texture. So it means that they do hold a little bit of that texture and don't turn to complete mush when we cook them. All right, so we've got our apples there and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop the blueberries in there and then mix it up with the corn flour and cinnamon. So we've got 250 grams of blueberries. Now you can use fresh or frozen. It honestly doesn't matter whatever you've got available to you, depending on the season and the price. Okay, so a little bit of corn flour. We've got about a tablespoon in there and that's going to keep it nice and thick in the center and then top it off with some cinnamon. With the cinnamon, I always say go generous with this because I love cinnamon. And we're just gonna give that a little toss. Oop. Okay, so now we're making the crumble. Now for this crumble, we are using rolled oats, almond meal and flax meal. So it makes it a really healthy crumble. So we're just gonna go into the bowl with the rolled oats and we've got the almond meal and flax meal here, which we're just gonna to toss in and then give that a nice stir. Just make sure that you break up any big clumps of the almond meal in here. So many people haven't used extra virgin olive oil in baking, but today we are using it in place of butter. And one of the reasons is because it is 73% lower in saturated fat than butter. And the other advantage is that it is vegan. So if you are catering to any vegan members of your family or friends, then you can use this instead. The other thing I love about using extra virgin olive oil in recipes like this is it does actually give it that nice earthy flavor, which is just so delicious. Uh, it's something that you just sort of don't expect, but it really is yummy. So we're using maple syrup for the sweetness in this recipe. And again, we're just going in with a quarter of a cup. Feel free to increase this if you like it a little bit sweeter, but it certainly doesn't need it. Then all we need to do is give the olive oil and the maple syrup a nice little whisk and then pour it into our bowl of oats here. Looks so good. All right, give that a nice stir so that it's evenly coated. You want the oats completely covered in oil so that they're not dry. That's what's gonna give it that crunch. This recipe is a great source of healthy monounsaturated fats because of not only the extra virgin olive oil that we're using today, but also the almond meal and the flax meal. So we're gonna pop this on top of our apples and blueberries. So just a nice even coating there. You can always spread it out afterwards. I like my crumble nice and thick, it's the best part. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to cover this because we don't want the top to burn whilst it's in the oven. So just putting some alfoil on top and then popping it into the preheated oven to cook. Give that one a cover up. And what we're going to do is we'll put that into the oven covered for about 30 minutes and then we'll remove the alfoil so that we can get that nice crunchy top. It's been in the oven for about 45 minutes now and it looks and smells delicious. Now, one of the amazing things about this recipe is that it is packed with antioxidants from not only the blueberries, but also the nuts and the extra virgin olive oil that we have used in it. So it is healthy enough that you could actually have it for breakfast. Today though, we're gonna to top it with a bit of ice cream. Alrighty, this is the tricky part, transferring it into the bowl. Oh, yum, that looks so good. And we're just gonna finish off with adding some yummy ice cream on the top. And that will melt nicely over it. So there we have it, our apple and blueberry crumble using extra virgin olive oil. I challenge you at home to try using Cobram Estate in your next sweet recipe. And make sure you tag us at Cobram Estate when you give it a go.